What's up everyone, this is Grim Reaper Sage here. This is my video review for Labyrinth of Zengutsu. This is the PS4 version, there is no PS5 version. I was given a code from publisher PCube, so shout out to them via Press Engine. So again, shout out to Press Engine. Uh, it's developed by AcquireCorp. This is released on the 20th for the 4th, 2023, and is priced in England on at £24.99. So let's get into it. So pros first. So the story I found was interesting from start to finish. Enemies are cool, all have their own look and text, there's a lot of variety to them. Weapons are cool, all have own stats. Again, there's a lot of variety to them and you can give you different ranges and attacks, so it's kind of cool. Skills are really cool, all have their own feel and uses to them. Like I loved being able to have like magic characters be able to do like group attacks or single target for high damage. Um, character class list really cool. Having everything from like warriors to paladins, ninjas, samurai is really good variety, so it's good. Uh, character stats are important because you can make your own build. Again, it's really good because you can like make a super super strong like barbarian warrior, or you can make like a really high level mage. It's not very strong, but does a ton of damage. Um, the ability to recruit new units and try new builds was really cool. I'd found this out quite late in, quite a while into the game, and uh, it's really good. Like you can just re-roll the uh, dice as such on the base stats, and obviously the higher base stats means the more uh, like stronger it'll be, the better it'll be. So it's kind of cool to always like be recruiting new units. Um, yeah, there's a lot of content in the game for £24.99. Like I said, it has a cool story, enemies, weapons, skills, and it's challenging. Two negatives, however, though, is that it can be daunting. Like I said, there's a lot of mechanics to learn. Like I was a good like six, seven hours in before I found that you don't have to have Samurais to be human. Like You can literally just pick and choose what you want. Um, and to be fair, the humans aren't always the best stat-wise allocation for jobs, so... Yeah, like I said, it can be daunting, um, the amount there is to learn. It's a challenging game, like even on normal, it's very easy to have your units die, especially if you're leveling up lower level ones. Like if you get hit with a um, certain moves, you can be cursed, which then reduces your max health and you have to either use an item or go pay in-game money to basically get cured. So it's not like a microtransaction, but... Yeah, it is very challenging, like your enemies are squishy and you will die and lose enemies quite often, so be aware of that. Um, but yeah, so overall that was about it. I hope you enjoyed these videos, if so, please, please um, like, share, subscribe, it helps me out an absolute ton. Check out my blog, which is www.garylodgegamesview.game.blog. I'll be doing way loads of reviews, I've got loads coming out and everything else, so please also sub to my YouTube, and I'll see you all soon.